My name is Anmol Kapoor. I'm a cardiologist. Uh, and the type of clinical research I do, focusing on various cardiac diseases and how we can improve uh, cardiac outcomes uh, and also improve quality of life uh, in patient population I serve in Calgary. Why these clinical trials are needed and how they benefit patients and their families, uh, it's multiple ways. Uh, I uh, will share one of the examples, brain atrial, atrial fibrillation trial, which I'm participating. Uh, in that trial, uh, people who have atrial fibrillation, which is the irregular, irregular rhythm of the heart, uh, and people who are not at high risk for a stroke. And the current practice standard is that giving a patient a baby aspirin is more than enough. Uh, but in clinical trial, they're randomizing a, a blood thinner at a much lower dose versus an aspirin 81 milligrams uh, to see in their patient population, maybe they have a higher stroke risk, more complications, maybe this approach could be beneficial. Right now, this dose is not approved uh, for patients uh, and patients, when they participate in those clinical trials, they can access those dosages uh, and also help lower their risk for heart disease or stroke, uh, but at the same time they uh, help uh, advance clinical sciences. The relationship is very important uh, for uh, patients to participate in the clinical trials. It is needed to build up trust. Uh, as a clinicians, they trust you uh, and they want to know what's best for them. I do discuss these uh, treatment options they have and if uh, they want to try Another option which is available, which may not have been approved, uh, when you have a good relationship with your patient and when the patient trusts you, uh, they get comfortable to participate in the clinical study. Uh, so my suggestion for other clinicians would be to first build up a trust with that patient. And once the trust is there, they'll be happy to participate in the clinical trial because sometimes patients get scared uh, and sometimes they have, they have anxiety. Sometimes when we explain uh, the side effect of the treatment we have to and they have to understand, give them enough time and have a, maybe a second meeting, maybe a third meeting. Uh, and if they understood, they trust you, they will participate in the clinical study and you'll have a successful trial. Alberta Clinical Research Consortium uh, is a huge resource. Um, before uh, I was invited to participate in it, I was not aware that something like that existed. Uh, when I participated in the meetings, I came to know other clinicians who are working and who were struggling. Uh, and I also learned uh, during those meetings and how to overcome those struggles. Uh, it did help improve my own clinical research. It helped uh, uh, me uh, make connections during the conference, uh, especially one of the fellows who was visiting from uh, UK. Uh, and I liked his presentation and the way he talked about the data and how data could be properly utilized and help improve clinical outcomes in Alberta and across the world. Uh, and I took inspiration from him and I reached out to various uh, institutions across, uh, across Canada and also internationally. Uh, and we are looking to start a clinical study soon uh, with the government of New Delhi, India, uh, where we are looking to access data and see what kind of diseases they are uh, struggling with uh, and what are the kind of outcomes they are seeing uh, and uh, see if those outcomes matches our outcomes in Canada. Uh, so I got inspired. So ACRC was huge, uh, was a huge successful uh, to open my eyes and my vision and broadening my scope.